Hello, my name is Dr. David Brazier, lecturer at Edinburgh Napier University and a member of the Creative and Social Informatics Research Group at the School of Computing. My co-authors are Rachel Salzano and Dr. Bruce Ryan. Edinburgh Neighbour University internally sponsor public engagement projects to promote the research and topical interests of the staff at the university. This project was born out of my interest in how people interact with information, or don't, and how some people don't want to, can't, or aren't able to interact with information, which leaves them reliant on others or put at risk. Often library staff and other professionals and facilities are often a key source of support and guidance for people's access to information as a result. Initially, this project was designed as a series of face-to-face workshops to be hosted at a library in Edinburgh on the topics of digital skills and information literacy. But unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, these were cancelled days before the first workshop was due to take place. However, in a bid to continue this work, the project has moved to a series of video tutorials, which will hopefully get the essence of the workshops across. The idea is that the series of videos will provide a standalone introduction to digital skills and information literacy, but also be suitable as supplementary material to support learning when we can host workshops as originally planned, once it's safe to do so. We are, of course, conscious that those who likely most need such support are learning other people less likely to have access to the video tutorials while being hosted online only. These videos are structured in line with the National Information Literacy Framework of Scotland, which was developed by Christine Irvin and John Crawford. This framework provides a robust outline to the key elements that make up the key skills associated with information literacy and lifelong learning by outlining understanding a need, understanding availability, understanding how to find information, understanding the need to evaluate results, understanding how to work with or exploit results, understanding ethics and responsibility of use, understanding how to communicate or share findings, and finally understand how to manage the findings. Interview questions were derived from these. Piloting was conducted with three participants with some minor changes before 12 online interviews were complete. Audio and video was recorded as the interviews were hosted through Microsoft Teams. The footage continues to be edited but is almost at completion. One of the issues resulting from the pandemic was the delay created by the methodological shift. As a result, following the completion of the interviews and basic edits, initial funding ended and it was not until May 2021 that further public engagement funding was secured. This allowed for the video tutorials to be complete. This is envisaged to be done by the time of the East Hill Conference date and you hearing this, I hope. The tutorials will cover the framework themes over nine videos in which it will discuss information needs, the availability of information and how to find it, how to evaluate information that has been found and how to best use that information before the final video discusses the ethics and social responsibilities of information use, how to communicate, share and manage the findings or the information. The final video will also include participant reflections as we asked them how the series of questions had made them think about their own practices and what they had learned from this. During the production of these videos, we have also decided to make them available to students and staff at the university as they are designed to provide a brief overview of the topics and it is our aim that this will help to promote learning, reflection of practices and discussion on these essential skills, experiences and knowledge. They are designed to be watched as a set of videos for those unfamiliar with the topics and looking for guidance but are also well suited as standalone videos for those looking to top up pre-existing skills and knowledge. It is hoped they can be embedded as part of the wider curriculum and to support the ongoing work of our library staff. So as the title suggests there have been a number of trials and tribulations through the duration of this project, some of which have been easier to mitigate for and plan around than others, not least moving from physical to remote methods of interaction. Managing the production of the videos has been much more complicated than initially anticipated. This is in part due to the required skill sets to make a professional looking video. We were fortunate to have the additional funding available and I am very happy with the outcomes. While the QR code only shows a sample, I hope you get a glimpse of the work that has gone into this. Conducting these interviews online, we also had to manage technological issues, video and audio quality specifically. Again, the work of our production team has made the best of this, although some participant responses were beyond salvageable.
What has come from this is that the National Information Literacy Framework of Scotland provides a suitable platform for critical self-analysis of information literacy and online search behaviours. While these tutorials have yet to be evaluated, it is encouraging to note that the participants found the process useful in shining a light on their own practices and we hope this will be the case going forward once we can host and then run further workshops.